Okay, that's it. I just got off the phone with my mom. Um, don't get me wrong, I got a lot of respect for my mom. Um, <laughs> but her and I have some real differences of opinions on certain things. And uh, we just had a rather heated debate um, about the nature of God. Um, whether, or not, um, whether or not any God exists of the type that people keep saying the Bible says exists, even though the Bible doesn't actually say it the way they say the Bible supposedly claims all kinds of things that when you look in it are not actually there. And so this brings up a really important question. I'm going to get right back to this, but I want to touch on the next top that I, topic that I was going to talk about before my battery died and I had to quit. Um, that is the topic of uh, the problem with anarchy. I mentioned that in an earlier video that I was going to say something about this. The thing is, um, <clears throat> nothing that requires the agreement of every single person is ever going to work on a large scale. Anarchy is fine on a small scale. You know, you got two, three people, you don't have to have one of them in charge. You know, you get a larger group, um, you maybe don't have to have one of them in charge. It's, it's a little on the debatable side. But the, you know, the fact of the matter is, if you get enough people, sooner or later you're going to get one of them who's not going to go along with the anarchy idea. They're going to put themselves above the anarchy. And when they do that, then it's up to the uh, people below them to do something about it. And how are they going to do that? Well, I mean, they could they could assign somebody to be above that person. They could assign somebody to take the, the, the task of, of stopping that person from acting like they're above them. Um, they could get together and, and, you know, try to do this on a horizontal basis. Well, if you've got 7 billion people, it's going to be a little difficult to get them all to uh, work together on pretty much anything. So we run into some limitations there. Now, I'm not saying that, that the idea of uh, a society without, without hierarchy running things is impossible. But I think that um, what it comes right down to is a hierarchy is going to end up there sooner or later regardless. So it might not be a bad idea to establish a hierarchy that is in the benefit of the people rather than to let one continuously crop up on its own that's against the benefit of the people and let the people have to deal with that as it comes along. Now, this comes back to the religious question. People have a tendency to believe in one religion or another. Not everybody does, but it is a sort of natural human tendency. People get this idea that there is some kind of being that is above them, that is, you know, much more powerful than they are, um, that, that is capable of doing things that they cannot do. And these are probably all true. Um, but then they go as, go as far as to um, get really specific about what this being's name is and where it lives and what it looks like, uh, what its gender is. Um, whether it has a physical form or a non-physical form, whether it lives in our reality or outside of our reality, whether it lives in our timeline or outside of our timeline, there are all kinds of things that people start specifying. And sometimes they have religious documentation to back this stuff up, and sometimes they have to invent their own religious documentation to back this stuff up. One way or the other, it, it eventually ends up being written by people and called the Word of God. So, here's the question. Is there any benefit to any of this for those people who don't have such a natural tendency? And uh, many societies throughout the ages seem to have answered that question as a definite yes. And said, you know, let's mix religion into the government. Make them one and the same. Well, how about I suggest something similar to that? Instead of mixing religion into the government, why don't we separate morality from religion and mix morality into our governing structure? We've already tried to do that anyway. We just haven't really acknowledged it. I mean, all of our laws are really intended to be moral. As far as I can tell, that seems to be the basic intention. So why don't we, why don't we stop pussyfooting around about it? Why don't we stop beating around the bush? No pun intended. And recognize that 
we really are trying to have a moral society and that our government could embody that and recognize the fact that people have different ideas about, about what morality is and allow people to have these ideas heard and have these ideas hashed out and work for the benefit of everyone, not just those few that run things. You know, they, they should be doing our bidding, not the other way around. I mean, after all, they get paid good for it. It's a decent job. Uh, you know, it, it's got a lot of prestige behind it. It would have a lot more prestige behind it if they were actually doing us some 